What things should you expect if you're moving to Salt Lake City, Utah? That is what I'm talking about today. So stay tuned and I'm gonna share with you one thing that even just recently shocked me. Hi, this is Melissa Ballman and I'm a real estate agent here in the greater Salt Lake City area. So what that means, if you're looking at making a real estate move, I'd love to connect with you. Shoot me a text, send me an email, do what you got to do, but get in touch with me. But first, today I want to talk about things that you should expect if you're looking at moving to Salt Lake City or Utah in general. And like I said, one of the things I'm talking about today is something I just recently found out from a client that moved here and it was shocking to me. Okay, so one of the big things, be prepared for your neighbors to come over and introduce themselves and welcome you to the neighborhood. I hear about this all the time from different clients, different cities all over the place where they ask me, is that normal that your neighbors are all coming over to say hi to me? Yes, it is when you're here in Utah. Another thing, houses in Utah have basements. Almost every home you see in the Wasatch Front area and all around the state is going to have a basement. I know every time I talk to somebody that reaches out to me from YouTube that's looking at moving here, they always say, I want a house with a basement. Well, rest assured, almost every house does have one. When you don't have one, it's typically, um, near water tables like river bottoms and things like that where they can't have them or if they're trying to you're seeing it a little bit more where builders are trying to turn out homes faster and it's less expensive to not dig a basement get your lotion out because you're definitely gonna need it utah and salt lake city we are a high desert climate so people's skin really dries out. You see a lot of people with eczema here and always have your lotion ready for you. Um, I, I wouldn't say that I was a person that had dry skin before, but you definitely soak it up here like a lizard. So be prepared for that. Speaking of weather, you better be prepared for big fluctuations when it comes to temperature, especially in the spring and in the fall. It is not unusual for us to go from 70 degrees and sunny one day to two days later snowing and 30 degrees. So um, there's a joke that we have first winter and second winter and third and fourth spring and all of that. It is legitimately true that we have really big weather swings throughout the year so be prepared for that now with the weather comes the fact that in the winter time if it hits 40 degrees and it's sunny you better expect everybody to be outside enjoying the nice weather for spring or you know almost um, winter time it's not unusual if the if the sun is out but on the flip side if it's summertime and it hits 95 degrees most everybody goes and hides in the air conditioning another thing people don't really dress up to go out here um, now I'm not talking real housewives of Salt Lake City you know they have their events that you see on TV and they're dressed to the nines and beautiful, but generally speaking, most people don't dress up for a nice dinner or just to go on a date night or anything like that. It's pretty casual environment here. Jeans, t-shirts, sweaters, maybe some slacks, but that's about the extent of it. If you're just going out to dinner on a Friday night or Saturday night, unless it's like homecoming or prom, you're not really going to see many people dressed up. I hope you're enjoying my video so far today. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell. That way you're alerted each week when I drop a new video. And stay tuned for the thing that I just recently found out about living in Utah that was shocking. So once you move to Utah, it's not unusual if you go out to dinner on a Friday or Saturday night, depending on where to wait three hours or two and a half hours. And reservations just really aren't a thing here. There's not very many places where you can make a reservation for dinner. So kind of our rule is we really don't go out to dinner on Fridays and Saturdays because of those waits. So you might've heard 
things are typically closed on Sundays here. So you need to plan ahead. Um, and a lot of them are restaurants or fast food chains, um, chain style restaurants, not even necessarily fast food, where you can't go in on Sundays and get a good meal or you can't go shopping at certain stores because they're closed. So just be prepared for that. If there's something in particular that you're looking for and that you love, make sure you go on Saturdays because they're probably not gonna be open on a Sunday. Now, of course, mainstream grocery stores and um, you know malls are open, things like that. I'm, I'm talking more um, boutique style shopping, more mom and pop style stuff, but then also, like I said, the food industry is a big one. And also car dealerships are not open on Sundays. So I talked about this in my weird liquor laws video, but in Utah, you cannot go and meet a group of friends at a restaurant to sit down and have like happy hour drinks or something like that. Um, if you're going to drink alcohol in a restaurant, you have to have food. You cannot just sit at the table with friends and have a few drinks. So be prepared for that. Um, that usually takes people off guard when they come in and they're like, what do you mean I can't just sit down and have a drink? So um, if you go to Applebee's or Chili's or Cheesecake Factory, doesn't matter. That is the rule. You have to have food with your alcohol. We are high altitude here. Now we're not quite as high as Denver, so you need to be prepared. A lot of people will come here and visit and kind of have altitude sickness style um, symptoms, headaches, um, just not feeling very good, tired, dehydrated, all sorts of stuff. So be prepared that you're coming to a high altitude area. Okay, and finally, something that shocked me when I just heard a client say that, um, when they moved here, they researched allergies. And many websites said that Utah is one of the number one allergy-friendly states. That is so far from the truth. I don't know where those websites are getting their information, but I can tell you, Utah has horrible allergies. Um, there are times in the winter time I have to take allergy pills. You have a lot of like pollens and bushes and things like that in the air. So many, many people suffer from bad allergies when they live in Utah and especially that greater Salt Lake City area with all the mountains and everything nearby. So if you're somebody that suffers from allergies, um, coming from San Diego originally, I never really would consider myself an allergy person, but moving here changed everything. So if you're worried about that and you're reading on these other websites that we have really good allergy statistics and we're allergy friendly, no, that's not true. <laughs> so. I hope you enjoyed my video today. If you have any real estate related questions or you're looking at moving into the area, I would love to connect with you. I'm always here to help, but as always, make it a great day.